All right, my friends, welcome back to All Cars. It is time for a vlog update, actually. I don't do these very often, but I do like doing them and having a chance to talk to you directly. Uh, I've got some updates about the Command Central here. I've got a couple of things I'm working on, a couple of things I haven't been working on, and most of it all, it comes down to a big apology to you. And I need to explain why, because we've got some things going on in the family that I need to explain. Uh, but first off, it is... I don't like to do these too often, but if, you, if you've if you been here since the beginning, you've heard me say this before, that I started this channel because I think about cars all the time. Um, why not put it on video and share it with friends who feel the same way? And I want to build a community. And YouTube doesn't really facilitate community so much. So the channel has changed over time. But I still like to have these direct conversations with you. And on my videos, I've seen the same names over and over and over again commenting. And I'm so appreciative of you being here and helping support this channel. And honestly, your kind words, uh, they, they mean they mean so much to me. Of course, I get some negative comments as well, but that just kind of comes with the territory, I think. And uh, that's okay. I do always appreciate constructive criticism. You know, it was a channel viewer who was like, man, you need to do something about your color setup. Well, I'm colorblind, so I didn't know anything was really wrong. And I've had several people talk about the sound quality on the videos. And so I really want to say thank you for the positive feedback, for the positive comments, constructive criticism, and of course, for being here. So a quick channel update. Um, things are continuing to grow. Subscribers are up, views are up, and yes, uh, as a business, this is throwing off some additional money. It is more successful than it has been. Uh, I am not full-time. I do have a full-time job. This is still part-time for me. And while it's better, honestly, let's face it, I'm probably only about a third of the way to where this would make sense to truly dive into it full-time and try to expand. But we're growing that way, and I'm super, super appreciative of that. A uh, so big shout out, especially to my Patreon supporters. Uh, really, it means so much to me to know that there's some of you out there who go and, and give just a tiny bit to support this channel and what we try to do here. And it means, it means a lot to me. And along the way, I'm always trying to improve what I do, whether that's watching videos on setting up a studio or editing or whatever it happens to be. And as a matter of fact, this video is... An experiment. You don't know this, but you are a guinea pig right now because I'm using a different camera. Most of my stuff is talking head format right here, and I just use, honestly, I've just used a webcam, but I am using my GoPro that I use when I'm out and about. If you watched my um, auto show video, that's what I used exclusively, and I also use that for uh, some of the reviews I've done, but I'm, I'm working to see if I can get this thing to work consistently <laughs> attached to my computer and record these. So tell me what you think about this. I'm not really happy with the framing. You're getting a little bit bigger view than I like. You get to see my, my pile of trash right here and, and the, the, the top of the, uh, the mon uh, excuse me, the, the computer screen. Yeah, my apologies. But also, um, I'm improving the sound quality as well. You, you'll notice I'm not wearing my lapel mic. Um, We have updated to a uh, better, much better microphone. I'm super impressed with the sound quality on this. But let me know what you think about those two things, if you like it. Um, also, the sound quality in this room, this is a pretty small room, my office. We did take everything out of here, I don't know, about a month ago now, something like that, and uh, be repaint it. Uh, all the walls before were kind of this fleshy beige color, which really made my skin tone uh, pop more than I wanted in videos. And it was a little bit of work, a couple of steps to try to neutralize that. So we've done everything in a different, more of like a gray tone. Uh, you can see it here. I did a quick little clip so you could see what Command Central actually looks like behind the scenes. This is my office. This is where I work uh, every single day, far, far too many hours here. Um, but that's what it looks like. Now, to my right, I've got a big open wall right here, and I've got some big open walls right over there. So in the interest of improving the sound quality, I'm trying to do this step-by-step -step engineer, right? I'm trying to do it step-by-step. -step. I have gone and gotten 
some of this if you've ever seen any videos about setting up studios big sound absorbing materials that are going to go on the walls and in the corners and hopefully improve the sound quality in here as much as i can without going crazy about it uh, so let me know what you think but that's kind of behind the scenes of what's going on and how i'm trying to improve this from a, a quality perspective um then we're going to move into actually content and this is where we start to get into uh, a little bit of the the apology i'll get to it in a second um you've probably noticed that my release schedule is more inconsistent that's probably the best way to put it uh you will see weeks i uh, just had one the other week where man, five videos come out one a week and then you'll see me not be able to publish anything for three or or so days something like that i do have my retro review reactions which are typically amongst the smallest views but i get the biggest feedback from them and i, I know longtime fans really appreciate them i love doing them and so i'm going to keep doing them i've got those scheduled out like a month in advance right now um that's pretty easy but the rest of it has been kind of inconsistent and this is where the apology comes in for my Patreon supporters, I've promised that one tier, you're getting my appreciation. You're getting a thank you for supporting me. But at the next tier up, the Focus Hatchback tier, um, it's only $5 a month. And what those people get, the big benefit they get is that the, my big milestone videos, you get those ad-free a week in advance. Now, I'm not talking about I wake up in the morning and see an interesting article on automotive news or I do my first thoughts on that new Chevy Trax that just came out. I'm talking about typically my big histories. And these things take a lot of time to put together. Um, but these, you know, are 15, 20, 30 minute long videos, but they're big ones. I schedule them for Saturday mornings typically. And what I can do is upload those and share a link on Patreon to that tier. Those have been very, very slow coming. They are a tremendous amount of work. However, there's some problems, there's some health problems in the family, and that's really kind of influenced, impacted my, my production schedule. And so there are days, whether my, if my job's busy and I've got something else going on, I just can't sit down and record. But if the job's got a nice slow day and nothing's happening over here, I might be able to go pound out two videos. And it's really suffered. These these histories have really suffered. So there's a new one coming out this Saturday. Um, far too brief history of Pierce Arrow, which was really fascinating to research and then do. Um, the next one, uh, I did a poll here on the channel in the community tab. I hope you voted on it. Overwhelmingly, people wanted to see a history of the Buick Roadmaster. And I'm excited about that one because I love Buick. So that one is uh, being researched and scripted, outlined right now, what I want to say. Um, the goal originally, a couple months ago, the goal was um, news, retro reviews, big histories, probably every two weeks was the goal, um, ish, two-ish weeks, and then slowly dip my toe into more reviews. Now, I've had a number of you say, don't bother with reviews, but I do see that as a huge growth potential for me and for the channel. Um, I have done some, I think I've done about 12 used car reviews, and those, I'm not great at it, I admit, I'm getting better. Um, those, some of them have done pretty well, some of them have done absolutely nothing, and it's kind of a chicken and the egg thing. The, I'm not known as a reviewer, so I don't think YouTube pushes me out to people looking for reviews, but similarly, if I did more reviews, I think I'd get pushed out more by YouTube and I'd be better known as a reviewer. It's surprisingly hard sometimes to convince people with a car that, you know, number one, let me drive it and video it and comment on it. And number two, people don't think their cars are interesting. And if they are interesting, they tend to not want to let strangers drive them. It's really weird. So I've had in the back of my mind and I was prepared to do it about, um, two months ago, uh, go to a couple of dealerships and just be like, hey, here's who I am. I can give you free advertising. Let me drive stuff once a week, something like that. And I stopped. Uh, and that's on hold, not forever, I don't think. Um, I still question whether it's the right thing for the channel. Am I going to be successful at it? You know, I, I have 
in spite of a couple of years of this channel and the success I've had and and being able to do something I love so much, I still have that like, oh my gosh, is it, is it going to work? Um, but here's where we get to the apology, guys, and, and what's going on behind the scenes beyond the improvements to Command Central here. Um, if you've been a fan of the channel for a long time, you know that uh, about nine months ago, uh, my mom and my stepdad both had an accident at home, not in a car, and uh, my mom broke her leg, she's in her 80s, and my stepfather broke his back. And he had to have actually pretty serious surgery, which, um, well, it was back surgery, right, on near his spine. And uh, he's still basically recovering from that. Well, unfortunately, uh, about two months ago, two things happened at the same time. The first is that my mom just fell. Didn't trip, nothing horrible happened, but uh, MRI showed that she actually has a, a fracture in her um, in her pelvis. So she's in pain. That kind of worked into it all at the same time. And... Um, there's another health scare here in my immediate family in the household. I don't want, I don't have permission to talk about it. Okay. I hope you understand that. Um, I don't want to say what it is, but it, it's serious and it seems to be going well. Every piece of information we've had has been extremely good, uh, but it's going to involve two surgeries. We've had one of them already. It's not me. Okay, uh, we've had one already. It went extremely well, but we've got another one coming up in a week, and that one's going to take a long time, we think, to recover from. And that's going to really, I'm going to have to be Johnny on the spot to, to take care of basically everything in the house. Um, and, you know, it's, it's not life-threatening, okay, but it is serious. And so it's really... I don't want to commit to doing anything knowing that in two weeks I, I won't be able to go uh, do another video, do another video, do another video, if you know what I mean. So I'm trying to beat around the bush because I don't want to say too much and I don't want to um, uh, reveal too much personal information. I hope you understand. But it is kind of serious and it was kind of scary, uh, but we seem to be kind of over the hump of um, it's going to be okay. It's just going to take some time and some recovery. So that's what's been impacting my schedule. So I wanted to let you know, without getting too personal information out there, too much personal information out there, um, kind of what was going on, why things have been more inconsistent. I was aiming for a more consistent almost every day schedule, much like you see from, uh, I know, the Electric Viking. Many of you don't like him, but uh, Kirk uh, Kreefels, I believe, um, some of the others that can, you know, every single day they're pumping out one, two, three videos. Um, I was kind of aiming more towards that, and everything kind of hit hit a, uh, a speed bump along the way. Let's keep it in automotive uh, terms, right? And I know it's going to happen for the next couple of weeks, uh, possibly a couple of months. So everything from that perspective is kind of on hold. You're going to see me doing updates because I'm reading the news anyway. Sometimes I can turn on the camera and start talking and share my thoughts with you. You're going to consider continue to see that. It's a question of how long between videos. Um, as for the histories, I've recommitted. Um, those take a tremendous amount of work. On this one for the Roadmaster, I'm actually going to track my time. I haven't been doing that. Because I think these things are probably taking somewhere around 30 to 40 hours between researching, finding a whole bunch of different resources, reading, outlining. Recording it is actually the easiest part. Eh, that takes 30 minutes. And then editing everything together and finding the the pictures and the advertisements and the videos and getting everything together, I think that portion by itself probably takes between... 12 and 20 hours. So um, I'm still going to try for every two weeks um, the Roadmaster one I'm working on and hopefully you'll see more of that in the near future and then hopefully as we kind of get deeper into summer hopefully things will settle down a little bit more and um, I'll be able to ramp up this schedule a little bit as my work allows. Uh, so that's kind of where I am. As always if you happen to live anywhere in and around the Charlotte area if you've got something interesting, uh, or even if you don't think it's interesting, okay, um, let me know. I'd love to drive it. I'd love to review it. 
Other than that, you will see more of me, and I just truly want to express to you how much I appreciate you being here, um, watching these videos, and again, those positive comments, and my apologies to you for my inconsistent schedule, and, and again, certainly and very, very specifically to my Patreon supporters. Uh, you mean the world, and I... I know you need more histories. That's what it boils down to, and you're going to be getting more, I believe, in the future. So I appreciate your kind thoughts. I appreciate you being here. And if you have any questions, let me know, because here's the big thing, and here's how I know if you watched to the end of this video. I've got an idea for something. I will not be able to do it for a few weeks, at least a few weeks, okay, because surgery. I'm seriously considering... A Friday night, ask me anything. I have never live streamed, okay? Certainly not on YouTube. I've never done an AMA. I've never been live while people were typing in questions. But I'm thinking about doing it. I think it would be kind of fun. I've thought about it a lot in the past few weeks of, hey, turn on the camera, hang around, grab your beverage of choice, and let's just do 30 minutes of, hey, you know, what's what's on your mind? If you want to talk about uh, uh, cars or new models or what's your favorite car or how do you start doing this or what's your equipment or how do I think that the, you know, the 49ers are going to do this year in football, whatever's on your mind, I'm thinking about doing one. If you like the idea, leave me a comment below. Let me know you watched to the end of this video and let me know if you think an AME would be fun and if you'd be willing to attend because... I can talk to myself without turning on the camera. Thanks for being here, guys. I appreciate you.